in the video I did of the cedar smoker and table build, I never actually got to try it out smoking any meats due to time constraints. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Uh, I've got some bacon that I've had on cure for like two weeks. Got some homemade breakfast sausage. I got some homemade uh, jalapeno Italian sausage. And then I've got some beef jerky. As far as media goes, I've got applewood chips and I got applewood chunks because I'm still in the trial and error phase and I'm trying to see which one maintains the best temperature and which one produces the best smoke. So with that out of the way, let's get smoking some meat. So here's my smoker setup, you know, after I got it finished. I added some foil to the bottom as a catch pan. I got a more sturdy pan. I added another rack to hang jerky on. And then the big box store had these on clearance. They're kind of like disposable grills. So I bought a couple of those. And then of course the top of it remained the same where I can hang some bacon. All right, so here's the meat that I'm gonna smoke. I've got some homemade breakfast sausage, some jerky, jalapeno Italian sausage, and then some bacon that I just got through curing. All right, so the smoker's been unplugged for about an hour now, and it's still holding at 225. It's because the wood in the pan has turned to like charcoal. So here's my jerky, my sausages, and my bacon. Now I can take this bacon and slice it and see how it turned out. Now that I've got my smoker working good, I'm gonna try out my table to see how I like it. And I'm gonna take and slice up that bacon I had smoked earlier. So here's my sliced up bacon. Turned out looking pretty good. All right, so the smoker worked great and the table has plenty of room. And I know this is a weird combination having the smoker and the table built together, but I've seen so many people building the smokers and smoke houses, this, that, and the other. And when they go to put the meat into the smoker or whatever, they set it on top of the smoker, they set it over here, this, that, and the other. I wanted a work surface that I could go straight from that work surface and into the smoker without having to fool with anything and having a place to put, you know, my tray and this, that, and the other. So now that I got that out of the way. In using the smoker, I found that if I took the wood chips and put them in the bottom of that uh, heavier gauge bread pan and got a little fire going in them and then put the large wood chunks on top of them and then set that on top of the burner that it would maintain a higher temperature while still producing smoke. 
because those large chunks would kind of like become charcoal and even then they would still produce smoke and I took and unplugged it and even an hour after that it was still at 250 225 so kind of happy with that and the only change that I'm probably gonna make to this smoker is I'm probably gonna line the inside of it with aluminum foil to make it more efficient uh, other than that, I'm quite happy with it. So the smoker and the table work great. They look great sitting on the patio and I'll have them for years to come. So thank you all for watching. We'll see you all next time.